Nikki Haley says she's no longer bound by RNC pledge to endorse Trump if he wins the nomination. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video today. It is time to talk about the disaster known as the Nikki Haley campaign. Because everyone, once again, when she was asked a very basic question of, would you support Trump to be the Republican nominee if you're not the nominee? And once again, she decided to dodge the question and is now saying she is no longer bound by the RNC pledge to endorse the eventual nominee. Yeah, the one she signed to get on the debate stage, she just threw away like nothing. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Again, folks, all support is greatly appreciated, and uh, yeah. Now, let's get right into it because I cannot believe Nikki Haley has fallen off this much. Listen, she was never that good to begin with, but the past two to three months, she has completely lost it. I mean, this is a basic yes or no question, and she refuses to answer. She says, well, um, I'm not technically bound by the pledge anymore. So let's just read this. Former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley no longer feels bound by a pledge made to the RNC that she would support the GOP presidential nominee. She said in an interview that aired Sunday. Asked by NBC News Meet the Press moderator Kristen Welker, so you're no longer bound by that pledge. Haley responded that she was not obligated to endorse former President Donald Trump if he becomes a Republican nominee. Yeah. I mean, now she's saying, no, that pledge I signed, um, I don't have to abide by it. So you lied. You lied to get on the debate stage for what? Four or five debates? Remember, that was one of the biggest requirements to get on the debate stage. Sign that stupid pledge to support the nominee. And now she's admitting, yeah, I don't have to follow through with that. No, I think I'll make what decision I want to make, but that's not something I'm thinking about, she said. Noting that if you talk about an endorsement, you're talking about a loss. I don't think like that. What? No, it isn't. It's a basic question. If you were to lose the nomination, not saying you will, but let's face it, she probably will. It's a basic yes or no answer. All she has to say is, I will support beating Biden. That's all she has to say in this situation. But now she has fallen into the never Trump camp so much that She's considering not even backing Trump over Biden. She added, when you're in a race, you don't think about losing. You think about continuing to go forward. Um, really? You don't think about losing. Yet you're down by what? 60 points nationally? You, you lost Idaho by 70 points? Lost Michigan by 30? Are you telling me you're just going to deny those results? You don't think about losing. Huh? Huh? So what, are you just flat out denying what happened in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada, Idaho, Missouri, etc.? You just denying what happened there? Press further about whether voters who will head to the polls in the GOP presidential primary on Tuesday deserve to know where she stands on endorsing Trump. Haley continued to dodge the question, saying, When you all ask Donald Trump if he would support me, then we'll talk about it. But right now my focus is, how do we touch as many voters? How do we win? Which... Um, that's a weird thing to say. How do we touch as many voters? You mean contact? Uh, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but what do you mean you have to ask Trump first? He's up by 70. He's not going to answer that. Yeah, he's up by 80 points. Gee, I wonder why NBC doesn't ask Trump about that. They're going to ask the person that's at 15% that lost Michigan by almost 40. They're going to ask her before the guy that's up by 70. The statement is an apparent shift from her previous attitude towards a potential endorsement. Asked in July whether she would support Trump if he wins, Haley told Fox News, I would support him because I'm not going to have a President Kamala Harris. Referring to the fact that VP Harris would become president if anything were to happen to President Joe Biden in a second term. So in other words, she flat out lied. Back in July, she said, yeah, I'm going to support Trump because better than Biden. 
But suddenly, I don't know what magically happened, she suddenly became Orange Man bad. I wonder what happened the past four to five months. It's as if her campaign realized, we're not going to win with conservatives. Let us get as many Democrats to vote for us as possible. Just get all the Democrats to vote in our primary. That's why she's acting like this. She flip-flopped on those basic of things. I mean, think about that. In under a year, she went from, yeah, I would support Trump over Biden easy, to, well, I'm not obligated to endorse Trump, even though I signed a pledge. In order to participate in primary debates hosted by the RNC last fall, every candidate signed a pledge to support the eventual Republican nominee. Haley signed that pledge. So, theoretically, she is obligated to support Trump. But in her Meet the Press interview, she blasted the RNC, saying the RNC is not the same RNC, and that now it's Trump's RNC. Wait, what? I could have sworn seven months ago, or in hell, just three to four months ago, you were saying the RNC is rigging the primary. But now you're saying, oh, the RNC, it's not the same as it was. It's Trump's RNC. Huh? Huh? So you flip-flop on the Trump stuff, but now you're flip-flopping on the RNC? Huh? That makes absolutely zero sense. Back when you signed that pledge, that was with Ronna McDaniel running the party. And she just resigned, or she's going to resign in a couple days. So she still is in charge. So what are you talking about? This is Trump's RNC. What changed from five months ago, except the new chairman? That's the only change that has occurred at the RNC. There's a brand new chairman. I mean, at the time of the debate, we had to take it to where, would you support the nominee? In order to get on the debate stage, you said, yes, Haley said. The RNC is still chaired by Ronnie McDaniel, who was chair at the time of the debates. But Trump has endorsed Michael Whatley, the North Carolina GOP chair, and Laura Trump, his daughter-in-law, to take over as chair and co-chair, of the group. But I'm just confused. So you lied on the debate stage. You raised your hand saying, yeah, I would support Trump even if he got convicted. Remember that. She raised her hand. So you flip-flopped 15 times in under a year on the Trump stuff. Now she's lying about the RNC. Now it's Trump's RNC. It, <laughs> what? Again, she has completely lost sense of reality. Haley has sharpened her rhetoric towards Trump in recent weeks, attacking him as unhinged and more diminished than he was. Oh, he's the unhinged one. He's the one at 15% continuing the campaign to stop Orange Man. No, that's you. And number two, if he's more diminished than he was, why is he beating Biden by three to four points nationally? Why? If he's diminished, he would have zero, zero shot of winning. But right now, the polling, which has always understated Trump in the general, has them winning by two, three, hell, even four or five points in the popular vote. How is he diminished? A potential endorsement of Trump is not the only issue Haley's offered seemingly conflicting viewpoints on. In the same interview with Meet the Press, Haley at first wouldn't commit to endorsing federal protection for fertility treatments like in vitro fertilization. Yeah, so even NBC is admitting she can't even answer a basic policy question on IVF. You can have whatever opinion you want on it. I have certainly my own. But you can't answer a basic question? But oh, Trump's the unhinged one. He doesn't know anything about policy. You know, I could have sworn like four to five months ago, or hell, even to this day, we have heard a bunch of people say Nikki Haley is the electable candidate. Really? She is so electable, she can't even answer the most basic policy questions. I mean, really? You can't answer anything about would you support Trump? You give some weird response of, well, the RNC is now Trump's RNC. When you said the same crap five months ago, so, did you lie back then? And you said nothing about it eight months ago. So you flip-flopped in the RNC. 
you flip-flopped on Trump, and now you're flip-flopping on basic policy issues. Really? I never liked Haley, but my goodness, she can't even answer basic policy. It's just Trump bad, Trump bad, orange man bad, he should be convicted, I won't back him. It is absolutely pathetic what just even a little bit of Trump derangement syndrome can turn into. Th this is bad. She can't answer basic policy. And now there's a good chance she doesn't even back Trump. Listen, I'm not going to support Haley. I think she's awful, but I thought Haley signed a pledge. I thought she guaranteed 10 months ago. Yeah, I want to back Trump over Biden. Hell, just a couple months ago she said that. But now, oh, the orange man is a threat to democracy. She is a garbage candidate that no one should trust. What's going to happen if she's the nominee? She's going to flip-flop on so many issues. She makes John Kerry look consistent. Go look that one up. John Kerry is notorious for flip-flopping. I think he's more consistent than Nikki Haley in the past month. Just the past month alone, she's more inconsistent than John Kerry was in 2004. Can't answer basic stuff. Hell, can't even answer basic endorsement stuff. Instead, goes on some tangent about, well, we gotta touch as many voters as possible. Yeah, remember, that's what she said. How do we touch as many voters? Yeah, not target. How do we touch as many voters? <laughs> what? I understand what she's trying to say, but you could have said this 50 different ways. It's just awkward. Have no clue what she's saying, but either way, this is the brand new Nikki Haley. Not, no policy worth a damn, except on endless wars and all that crap. And now, just orange man bad. That's her entire campaign now. It's a disgrace, but hey, she's still running and could very well not endorse Trump this year. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.